New Retirement Thinking. I'm Sumei Zake. If you've just joined us, we're focusing on redefining retirement readiness with our guest, Ricardo Tashira. He is Chief Operating Officer at BDO Wealth Advisors. So, Ricardo, um, before the break, we were chatting about, or you struck up a very interesting term, which is conversations about money, which right. I think we don't have um, as South, South Africans. Um, True. But I, I would want to put it to you that it's one thing to um, have the ideas about um, generating those conversations around um, the table. Okay. And my question is, what is the industry doing to help drive those conversations? Because mm -hmm. I, I, I sense that sometimes they tend to be a more focused on creating the right product, but mm -hmm. not tying that with a conversation around money and how that product might actually drive that conversation or help meet um, mm -hmm. some of the needs. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's a very fair observation that you've made. And I think we've come out of an era in our industry as financial planners, we've come out of an era where it was all about product. And if you ask any of our, of our generations before us, or anyone currently, generally, the, the answer nine times out of a ten would be that I've got a broker and we've, we've bought something from them or I've sold something. So the conversation has been in the industry around product. What we've seen, Sime, is a shift towards advice. So there will always be a place and a need for a product to be purchased, but it's how you interpose that in that experience. So the conversation around actually stepping back, let's talk around money, let's talk about your relationship with money, let's talk about your values of money, what are your fears, aspirations of money are more important than actually the product. The product is, is the end outcome. So we may need a retirement annuity and I may need a life insurance policy, but I've got to know why. And I've got to know how does it fit into my life. And it's that advice conversation which is so important. Mm -hmm. So I think, well, I mean, if I can share an example, one of the things we do at BDO is we encourage broad conversations with money with our clients. And the conversations are with children as well as with spouses, is that it's not just to the breadwinner or the, the, the head of the household. It's the whole family should talk around money. Um, and it's that principle which I think would actually start raising a high level of awareness Mm. around retirement as well as other aspects of, of wealth in, mm. in, in, in individuals. Mm. Uh, and you raise an interesting point there and you say um, it's about the why you, 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 know, you, you kind of need these, um, the advice along with, with, the, with, the, with the product. But also I think if uh, you know, one would argue that um, you know, retirement 65 or 70 as we were, were discussing er earlier on one people don't tend to see that far ahead mm. Um, mm. and it, it speaks to the intangibility of um, mm. retirement planning and, and retirement itself mm. Mm. that's right yeah and I think that's that's it's a very re it's, it's, a, it's a very real experience is that if you speak to anyone that the concept of retirement is is far off into the distance it's very often it's intangible as you've said I can't touch and feel it but I, I can look at that new car and I could look at the new house or whatever, or, or the holiday. But that concept of actually not working or being in a different phase of my life is so foreign. And I think it goes back to what we were talking about earlier, is that the, the concept of retirement, right at the starting point, is artificial. Right now, the fact that we are living in an era of experience where we, we're selling intellectual capability, we, we're selling our knowledge, we're selling relationships, that doesn't really expire, so, no? Mm. so no longer am I selling a hard, hard, my ability to work in the, in the labor force. So I think that, that, um, that, that concept of being intangible it has come out through conversations. I mean, and if I look at it as an example, often we, we see clients talking and spending more time talking with their spouses around their holidays right. than their retirement. And yet the one is just a need and a spend as opposed to how are we going to live? What are we going to do? What does our retirement look like? So the concept of why is, is critical and it's actually visualizing what does my life look like and then putting numbers to it. And that's, the, the, and that's where a financial planner, a certified financial planner yeah. will come into the picture and mm. say, well, let me help you unpack that why and help you uh, find your, your life story. And it's really about a, a lifestyle change at, at that um, particular life stage because while you might not be as um, active as you are now in terms of work, okay. you, might still be, you, might, you might still be globetrotting, getting onto that um, mm. wonderful yacht that you have, right? Mm, yeah, correct. correct. So, so I think that that lifestyle change is important and every person will have their own sort of desire and vision and aspiration of what retirement to look right. like. The key thing though, what we do find is we need to retire to something. And so again, that intangibility, there's a big conversation around where, what are you retiring to? You can't just retire to the yacht or to the golf game. You can only do so much of that until it becomes a bit staid, a bit bored, boring. And then what, is, what does your life look like? 
So there's a deep conversation to be had, and that underpins how much you're going to have to save, or what you're going to do, are you going to work, yeah. how long will you work for, where, and, and how will you employ the wealth that you have created. Mm. Let's talk about some of the um, changes that we've seen in the, in the retirement um, space. Okay. One of them that you did mention off air was the change in the um, tax allowance that happened last year, um, 2016. Can Correct. you just elaborate on, uh, on, on some of the implications of that? Okay. There was actually um, quite a, f a fundamental shift in, in South African tax law for, relative to financial planning and saving for retirement. And the change really was an increase in the tax deductibility or the allowance that we have as South Africans towards making contributions towards our retirement saving. And we went from an environment which was kept at a, at a lower level of about 15% with some, uh, uh, some sort of um, formula that were attached to it, to a very, a very easy to use formula of 27.5% of taxable income into any retirement vehicle. So what that means is, is, as South Africans, we since 2016, March 2016, the opportunity for us to save a greater, a greater amount into a retirement vehicle has been opened up. But what we've seen, it's been very underutilized Why is that? South Africans. Two things I'd, I'd say, one would be awareness, um, and secondly is what we've been speaking about earlier, is the intangibility of retirement, the lack of discipline, not, not one you save not having a budget of allocating. So there's a number of underlying, I think, reasons or fears that, that, yeah. that we as human beings or South Africans particularly have around saving for retirement. Mm -hmm. But the interesting thing is, and why I say it is fundam fundamentally valuable, is that the government has allowed that Treasury has opened the, up this opportunity that we can now contribute in a tax-free manner so as to encourage saving for retirement. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Let's leave it there for now. Thank you so much. That was Ricardo Teixeira, Chief Operating Officer at BDO Wealth, talking to us about redefining retirement readiness in order to secure ourselves a safe and comfortable retirement. Until next time, goodbye.